I want to thank you very much for taking a look at this video. Uh, this is part of the documentation based conversation series. Uh, I'd just like to thank you very much for taking the time to really get to know the information about what you're looking at. I learned years ago from a multi-billionaire named Roger Penske that documentation beats conversation. You know, he challenged me every time I came up with something, he would use the phrase, how do you know that? How do you know that? So please understand that a lot of people out there just tell stories with no facts, they exaggerate. And my point really simply is this is if you don't take the time to get the facts and you continue to spread a story that isn't true, then aren't you just basically spreading a lie? Take the time to get the facts. And, and there's a lot of information now on Google where you can go out there and really do your due diligence. A neat example of this is a, a website that I love going to that's available. It's amazing now how everybody out there is, uh, uh, you know, putting up websites. Uh, library, uh, law libraries are online. Uh, Congress law library uh, is online. It's amazing. But this is PubMed.gov, G-U-V, you can see here. Now, what it is, is it's basically short for publications and medical. This is the U.S. National Library of Medicine. When you click on it, you can see it's a governmental website, not like a website where someone just puts up their version of the story. But this is the world's largest medical library. If you scroll down here at the bottom, and again, you see a .gov, but if you scroll down here at the bottom, you're going to see USA.gov. USA.gov. So I'm going to go back here. I just want you to take your time and, and look at this. The other one is National Institutes of Health. You click on this and again documentation. But Google itself just by putting in the word you're going to find out a lot of great information. Just an example uh, the product that I'm now promoting is a product called Gonoderma. Uh, it's a scientific name for uh, red mushroom or uh, some of the Asian names, Ling Shi, Rai Shi mushroom, um, um, Young Shi in Korea. But as soon as I put in Gonoderma, look at Ling Shi for cancer children, full text view, clinical trials clinicaltrials.gov and you can see in here from the National Institute uh, of Cancer, National Cancer Institute and on and on and on, Parkinson's and you can read all up on how powerful this is. So take the time to find out other companies and their product. Just don't listen to their stories. So I'm now going to go back here to PubMed and I'm going to put Ganoderma in. And we're just going to go through a, a lot of them. I'm going to use single names. Uh, you can go in here and do your due diligence. But Gonoderma lucidum, it's cancer, diabetes. Uh, I'm going to scroll down here and you're going to see how many reports you can find. Uh, you see here it's one of 34 pages. So 679 reports on Gonoderma. So what if we turned around and we also mix that with coffee? Coffee, we'll put in coffee, see how many people, how many are there. Again, look at coffee, 7,168. So now what we're going to do is just go in there and put in some of the other companies that we've heard of. Uh, a, a big berry that's out there right now, uh, a, a Kai or a Sai, or, you know, some people uh, spell it. Uh, but you can see here that it's got 56, okay? 56 versus 579. Now, one of the things that I didn't click on, and I and I, I will go back really quick to do this, is just the Gonoderma lucidum as far as, uh, uh, you know, its abilities to uh, uh, deal with cancer. Um, again, this is... Um, this is uh, uh, this website. Uh, my, my, I don't know anything. I'm not a doctor. But you know, you put in gonoderma cancer 139. The reason I did that is because I noticed the uh, Asai or Akai. Again, some people are probably laughing that uh, uh, I can't pronounce it. Um, didn't do well in, 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 in English. Uh, so you look at Akai with cancer too. Let's look at some other ones really quickly. Um, how about Goji, G-O-G-I? Uh, let's put that in there. Um, okay, uh, okay, we got we got Goji, 69, but Goji with cancer. Let's 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 click there. Um, uh, 11 again versus 139. I, I think you can see the big difference. Even if a person did a specific gonoderma, uh, a lucidum with cancer, it's 122. And you can go to this website and do your own due diligence. So let's put in uh, Noni. 
And again, you know, we're using words and then we're doing scientific words. So 110, uh, how about noni cancer? 110, that's not bad. That's better than 11 or zero. Uh, noni cancer, 19. Uh, okay, and uh, remember 122 with us. Uh, I, I didn't even think of this one. Let me put in uh, coffee cancer. Okay, here we go. Whoa, 993. All right, uh, let's, there's some other ones out there that uh, I just went on the internet and looked at their ingredients. There's one that's M-O-R-I-N-G-A, Mor Moringa, Moringa. Um, let's see what they have there, 164. Uh, let's put it uh, cancer. And uh, again, I'm just going on a website, just showing you guys some of the documentation. Uh, six, okay, uh, versus 993. Uh, we didn't even add that with the 122 with gonoderma lucidum. Uh, so let's turn around and put in uh, mango, mangosteen. All right, mangosteen. Did I spell it wrong? I must have, mangosteen, apologize, 95. 95, look at here with breast cancer, this is good. So uh, again, some of the products out there are, are great, but uh, if a person's goal is to market the best nutrition company, uh, best nu why not market one that has 4,000 uh, years of documentation? Um, very quickly, A-I-A-L-A-K-I. Okay, three. <laughs> so there's a lot of companies out there. Really take your time to do your due diligence on, on the product. So documentation beats conversation. Uh, this is the easiest thing I've ever done because again, showing people documentation, they see it, they get it right away. So again, take care, God bless, and uh, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.